All right, Johnny. First off, can you begin by telling us a little bit more about the concept and inspiration behind your latest single, Again? Yeah, sure. So Again was basically, I've created an EP, which will be coming out um, October 7th called Younger Skin. And I would like for people to listen to it from start to finish. And Again, it's actually the last song on the EP. Um, and it's basically an emancipation of sorts and me sort of like filling my oats a little bit. Um, I've been in the music industry for a long time, but I have, this is my first opportunity I've gotten to actually tell my story. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just sort of breaking free of the chains. And, um, you know, it's my first time being able to speak about that openly in, in music. And so, yeah, that's basically what it's about. Great. And now both the track and the music video came out a couple of days before the end of August. How has it been received so far? Yeah, look, we've gotten really, really good reception. We've gotten a lot of pickup on playlists, which we're very excited about. We've gotten coverage a lot in the States and a bit here in Australia where I'm based. Mm -hmm. um, so the response has been um, really great. It's good. Been really good. Great. Yeah. And what do you always hope um, audiences take away from your music? I feel like this is the inception for me, really. Like I said, I've been doing it for a long time, but this is the first time I'm able to actually tell my own story. And so I hope that it's encouraging. I hope, I hope that it inspires some people and I hope that people identify, they can see a part of themselves in me and hear it in the music. Mm -hmm. um, I, really, I really do want to uplift people and just um, inspire people to you know, be themselves, their authentic selves. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. So you're just excited to get this project out into the world and it's allowed you to open up and embrace a fresh sound. Absolutely, yeah, this is brand new for me. Um, I worked with Aiden LaPrette on the entire EP um, in LA. And when I was there recording with him, immediately we just had this sort of natural chemistry between the two of us and we allowed each other to be ourselves in the room. And I think that helped so much because Aiden is a genius, um, he truly is. But I think the unique thing about him is that with each artist he works with, he builds a unique sound for them. And um, I feel like he's done the same for me. Mm -hmm, for sure, great. Now, as your first ever solo project, what have you learned from this experience? <laughs> um, I've learned to get out of my own way. Uh, mm -hmm. I've, I've found that I um, censored myself and edited myself quite a bit without even truly realizing it. And throughout this project, it has allowed me to like completely let go, let my walls down, be myself. I have new management now, mm. which really, they really, really encourage me to be exactly who I am and be proud of that and um, speak my truth. So it feels yeah. really great. Awesome. Yeah. And like you said, you've been doing this for quite a long time. You hail from a musical family, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'm from Flint, Michigan. And growing up, we had a studio in our house. Mm -hmm. My parents had like um, a singing group and they used to perform like locally around and around the Midwest. But like all the local musicians, DJs, everybody would come to our house to record music, to have jam sessions. Mm -hmm. So music has been in my life forever. So it's always been your passion. Yeah, for sure. Was there an aha moment where you were like, yes, this is what I am meant to do with my life? Yeah, <laughs> um, I was really young. I was six. I was performing at a family reunion. And I remember practicing this song. I was singing um, this song called The Kissing Game. I remember it so well. <laughs> and I practiced this for like two weeks straight and I had it perfect. And we got to the family reunion and it was time for me to perform. And I did but someone turned the track down early, like too soon before I was completely finished. And I just remember running to my parents and like bawling. I was literally in tears Aww. because I didn't get to do every single little riff and note in the song. And um, I just remember feeling really connected that way. And then also I grew up singing in the church choir. So cool, cool. Yeah, I've always felt that. Well, as a proud queer black man, how will you always stay true and authentic with your artistry? I mean, literally exactly that, telling my story, maintaining, you know, just being authentic at all times and not withholding anything, not censoring myself like I have done in the past and just sort of, you know, being open about that and inviting people into my world through, through the music. Cool, cool. Do you plan to release any other singles before the EP drops? So October 7th, I have a single coming out called The Others. It drops the same day as the EP. Okay, great. Will we have a music video with that as well? 
Yeah, definitely. We're working on it now, actually. Awesome. So what are some future goals you hope to accomplish with your career and platform? Oh, well, I have a couple other projects coming as well. And I want to continue to show different sides of myself. Mm -hmm. I wanted to release this solo project first because I really feel like it's the foundation Mm -hmm. of everything that is to come in the future. Um, Getting out there, introducing myself really to people for the first time. Um, People have seen me perform on television and stuff, but this is the first time that I'm actually speaking to people about my life in this way. Mm -hmm. So I knew I wanted to set these foundational pieces um, and I didn't want to sort of dilute the brand, um, (laughs) but there are other experimental projects coming that I'm very excited about next year um, and into 2024. Like we have stuff coming out that I'm very excited about. So I want to just be able to tour, continue doing this, you know, release a body of work that I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. That's what I hope is coming in the future. Awesome. What television programs have you performed on? Yeah, well, I did America's Got Talent. Okay. Um, I did Eurovision, and then I did The Voice here in Australia. Okay, very nice. What was that experience like on all three? All three? I think the most fun I had was Eurovision. It was extremely freeing. As an American, being able to perform in Eurovision, I had I really had no concept mm-hmm. of what it was exactly. And, and it was, we were in Portugal, it was the absolute most fun I've ever had. I was part of a super group called um, Equinox and we performed this song called Bones. And it was just the experience, like being around all the other artists and everybody traveling together throughout Europe. It was so much fun. And then the actual performance, like Eurovision fans are wild. They are the best fans <laughs> in the whole world. So it was, it was quite the experience, but I had, I had a good time on all of them. Good, good. Well, yeah. Awesome. Well, Johnny, how can one stay up to date with you? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. It's all the same at Johnny Manuel. I think TikTok is Johnny Manuel official. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Then before we wrap up, are there any other upcoming projects or anything else you would like to mention or plug at this time? Yeah, I have a project coming out next year, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, with Nick Littlemore, he produced the entire project and it's called The High Ups. And so that'll be coming next year. Okay, okay, fantastic.